Hey, welcome back to the channel. We've got the Midas DN4888 stage connect interface here today. And this is an eight by eight line level interface. There's no mic preamps in this, just line level in and out. And it connects to your mixer with a single XLR cable. So thanks for joining me and let me know in the comments if you've got any questions along the way. To get the DN4888 set up, we only need to connect one high quality XLR cable back to the mixer. In this case, we're using a Behringer wing. They recommend using 110 ohm cable rated for DMX and digital audio for the best results. Stage Connect also supplies 12 volt 1.5 amp power down that XLR. So when we connect just a single unit like this, we don't need to use the power supply that they provided with this unit. Mm, nice. On the front panel, we can see eight combo jack inputs and eight XLR outputs. Again, there's no mic pre's, this is line level only, and it makes a great option for connecting line level equipment like wireless microphones, in-ear transmitters on the output side, and also for setting up outboard hardware as inserts for your console. And this works really well since Stage Connect is ultra low latency. They advertise it as 0 0.05 milliseconds, and I measured it at 0 0.063 milliseconds. On the rear of the unit, there's a USB port used only for firmware updates. Then we have two alternate ports, which is nice because natively the wing doesn't have an alternate port, and these can be used to connect Behringer's P16M personal monitor stations. And the first port here carries Stage Connect channels one through 16, and the second outputs the eight onboard analog input signals. So that's very handy, especially on a wing. You'll wanna know that these ports do not provide power to the P16M, so you'll have to power those locally if you're gonna use them in this configuration. Next up, we've got the Stage Connect XLRs, and the easy way to think of this is you're taking the leader clock, the main clock from the mixer, from the output on the mixer, there's only one Stage Connect XLR, into the input of these units. And then you can go from these units onto additional units. You can have up to 11 of them in a chain, but you've got to remember that the protocol can handle a maximum of 32 channels total. So you've got to figure out how to break that up. And to help you, they've included a Stage Connect calculator tool that can be used to mock up configurations and plan your routing ahead of time. And it'll let you know what channels and power usage you've got available for connecting up more of these. That's available on the product page for the DN4888 and it's called the uh, Stage Connect Calculator or Configurator in the drop down menu. To finish setting up Stage Connect, we've got two switches and one selects between individual and shared mode. Now, if you've got two of these units together, individual will route outputs one through eight through the first unit and outputs nine through 16 will come out of the XLRs on the second unit, where in shared mode, it'll just take outputs one through eight and put them on both sets of output XLRs. The other switch lets us select between 8x8 and 16x8 mode. And if you've only got one of these, you're only going to notice a difference if you're using the alternate outputs with the P16Ms. In 8x8 mode, you're only going to get 8 active channels on the P16M. In 16x8 mode, you'll get all 16 channels active on the little mixer. So if you're just using this unit by itself, 8x8 mode is fine. If you want to use outboard gear as inserts on the wing, what you'll need to do is go to the channel that you want to insert the effect or the processor on. Go to insert one, turn it on. From effects processor, choose an available slot. And then from effects type, you want external. And from there, you can route the send out through Stage Connect and the return back in through Stage Connect. And you should be all set. You should be seeing signal flow uh, and you should be ready to go to patch inserts. Taking this unit apart briefly, we can see that the build quality is quite good. It's a solidly built unit that I wouldn't hesitate to rack up and take on the road. On the input side, we can see they're using both 4580R and TL074C op amps on each channel, followed by their Midas M8008 channel A to D converter. On the output side, we see the 4580R again, but paired with their Midas M9000 D to A converters this time. The heavy lifting is being done in this unit by a Spartan 6 FPGA paired with a small ARM STM32F401 microcontroller. 
throughout the interface, they've used genuine Neutra connectors, which is always great to see. And overall, I think these are a really interesting value for situations where you don't need a whole stage box full of mic preamps, but you do need to connect up some line level gear. Stage Connect works at a maximum of 40 meters or about 130 feet for the total distance in the chain of devices you're using. So I'm sure you can think of some places in your current systems where a technology like this would be useful. On a desk like the Wing, this doesn't replace your AES-50 Snakes or your Dante network if you have one of those. It's another option that you can run at the same time as either of those, wherever it makes sense. In addition to this DN4888, they also offer a DN4816-0 16-channel output model and a DN4816-I 16-channel input model, so you can pick and choose a combination of I.O. that fits your needs the best. So that's about all I've got for the DN4888, but I would love to hear if anybody watching this is using any of these modules already. Let me know how you're using them and what you think. I'd love to hear your opinions. I'll see you next time.